Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is episode 34 of my Modern Warfare 2 Weapon Guides. This time it's the last available light machine gun, the M240. The M240 is a fully automatic weapon, unlocked at level 52. M240 is the US military designation for the Belgian-made FNMAG, or Mitrailleux d'Appui General, referring to this weapon's role as a general-purpose machine gun. It was adopted by the US Army in 1977, used as a coaxial tank-mounted weapon. Since then, its role has been expanded to infantry usage. It fires the NATO standard rifle cartridge, the 7.62x51mm. In-game, the M240 is a relatively low-damage, mid-recoil light machine gun, with a very high rate of fire. It handles a little like the F2000, but benefits from the LMG's large magazine and a lack of damage drop-off at range. The recoil is relatively mild, but is still sufficient to require burst firing at medium to long ranges to remain accurate. It's wise to readjust your aim between bursts too, as the muzzle flash will otherwise obscure your target. The iron sights are fairly good, somewhat similar to the M16s. And although they obscure some of the target, the front post is a clear indicator of where the bullets will hit. Useful for aiming at long range, and one advantage over the MG4's misaligned sights. As far as attachments are concerned, the grip decreases recoil by around a third, and in the case of the MT40 does make an appreciable difference. At long ranges I'd still advise burst firing, but the effective range at which you can fire full auto with the M240 is greatly increased with the grip. It does nothing for the visual recoil, the muzzle flash will still obscure the target, but it does make it more likely that your first three shots will connect. The optics can help slightly at staying on target, as their elevated position lessens the visibility of the muzzle flash. The red dot sight is a fine choice if you're not used to the iron sights, although in all honesty it isn't a massive improvement as far as accuracy is concerned. Personally, I preferred the holographic sight. The holographic sits higher than both the iron sights and red dot, so although the muzzle flash will still obscure much of the target, the effect is lessened. The long range optics magnify the recoil present on this weapon, so I'd advise against them, with the possible exception of hardcore game modes. The ACOG scope is moderately usable, and does help in reducing the effect of muzzle flash. It is tricky to stay on target at long range though, so you'll run into trouble competing with enemies using altogether more stable weapons. The thermal is similar. It can be effective when used from prone in defensive roles, particularly if paired with the grip. But as far as my playstyle was concerned, it didn't suit it. One glitch to be aware of with the M240 is the silencer. As with the M9 and MG4, the silencer is ineffective on the M240. It does eliminate the muzzle flash, but it also reduces the damage dealt to a 4-shot kill with stopping power, or a 5-shot kill without. I'd strongly recommend you avoid it. Still, you might want to get 15 kills to unlock the heartbeat sensor, although with the loadout I was typically using it wasn't that effective. If you're not using Sitrep Pro, it might serve some purpose to alert you to nearby enemies, but it wouldn't be my preferred attachment. FMJ is normally pretty good on the LMGs, but I didn't find it to be particularly useful with the M240. The lower damage weapons tend to benefit less from the increase in penetration, and I think the grip is the all-round more effective attachment in this case. Extended mags gives you 200 rounds, which might be useful if you're not using sleight of hand or one-man army to reload. Otherwise, it's probably overkill. 100 rounds is generally more than enough, and I found with sleight of hand, the 4 seconds it takes to reload isn't too bad, as long as you can find cover. Overall, either the holographic or the grip would be the most sensible choices for the M240. The former aids in targeting through the minimization of the muzzle flash, and the latter stabilizes the weapon, making fully automatic fire more effective at middle range. 
sleight of hand is a must for the LMGs, otherwise you'll find the aim and reload speed is too slow to be competitive. You get a generous amount of ammunition by default, even without scavenger, so it isn't too much of a sacrifice. The fast rate of fire means that stopping power makes a relatively small difference in the time to kill, but this assumes all your shots connect. I'd strongly recommend stopping power for the three hit kills it provides, otherwise you'll find your enemies will have ample time to get into cover before you're able to get effective shots on target. Your third perk is a little more open. I'm a fan of Sitrep Pro with the LMGs, as it gives you a good idea of where people are holed up with claymores, and the louder enemy footsteps alert you to foes close by. The rate of fire of the M240 actually makes it fairly effective from the hip, particularly if you're stood still, so it can spray down enemies in close quarter defence without the need to switch to another weapon. Steady aim would also be a solid choice for such usage, giving you a much fairer chance against shotgunners and commando users. Packing a close range secondary can be useful though, and I quite like to carry a shotgun for moving through tighter corridors and interiors, granting more reliable kills up close when you're on the move. The M240 fills a number of unusual niche roles. It's weak at middle range compared to the assault rifles, but works as an effective suppression weapon at range against groups of enemies. The lack of range drop-off means the M240 remains effective where other weapons lose power. It's best to fire from cover, otherwise you'll be an easy target. And fire in bursts to ensure your shot placement is accurate. The rate of fire also means the weapon isn't too bad up close either. Although it lacks the damage of some of the assault rifles or SMGs, the sheer volume of fire available means you can often spray down someone expecting an easier target. As with all the LMGs, the M240 suits defensive roles better than a more aggressive style. You can do a lot of damage from a stationary covered position. It behaves in a similar way to the MG4, with the added bonus of aligned sights and a faster rate of fire. The higher recoil does mean you need to regulate your fire rate to be effective at long range however. It's not a weapon for every engagement but the M240 is a very useful weapon for locking down areas and closing off choke points. As with all the LMGs, you've got the benefit of a very large magazine, and the M240 is one of the fastest ways to deliver it. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next time when I'll be covering the penultimate shotgun, the M1014. Farewell for now.